What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be working on the GTO again. Uh, if you guys want to see more on that car, you can go back on the channel and check out the GTO playlist. We've got all kinds of things on there with this car from when we pulled and put the uh, engine and transmission into this one, the full front and rear suspension, um, axles, the whole nine yards. We've upgraded just about everything on this car. When we picked it up, it was a straight roller. So if you guys want to see more on that, make sure to go back on the playlist and check it out. Uh, also, if you're not already, please think about subscribing and ringing the bell. It'll keep you up to date on any time we put out a video with the GTO, the Duramax, or the Hellcat. But today's video, we're going to be going over how I'm going to take my AEM X-Series wideband gauge and we're going to wire it so that we can pick it up in HP tuners under data logging um, without upgrading our MPVI2. And it's pretty simple, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. We're going to be using the AC switch, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I have shown on videos in the past how I installed our AEM gauges. Uh, we've got boost on the left, which is not AEM, and then we've got oil pressure and AFR, which both are AEM. So we've already got those wired how they're supposed to be. They're not set up for data logging or anything like that right now. So that's what we're going to go over in today's video. I'm going to show you how we're going to tap into our AC pressure sensor and wire that up so that you can set up a PID in the uh, HP tuners data logging and pick that up and uh, not have to upgrade your MPVI2 or anything like that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our uh, AC pressure sensor, which in our case with the GTO, it's right here. So as you can see, I already pulled some of the wiring on that back. I'm going to just go ahead and unplug this and I've already got it unplugged down there and just made some extra room so we have something to work with so I can show you guys. So now that we've got our wires exposed, we are gonna end up needing the one with the black stripe, which is this guy right here. And then we're also gonna need this tan one. Now you're also gonna need access to wherever you ran your wires for the AEM gauge originally. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my kick panel out real quick because I have all my extra wires tucked up in there because I didn't want to have to take the dash apart and get to the gauge again because I knew in the future I would want to data log it. So I tucked them up under here. So let me get this kick panel out of the way real quick and I'll get back with you guys. All right, so now that we're under the dash here, I went ahead and labeled these just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. But um, this is the harness coming down from the AFR gauge. I double checked myself unplugged the power for this harness and the AFR gauge went out so I know that this is my uh, AFR harness and then we've obviously got the power and ground wires here that I ran when hooking it up originally and I had all the extra wires that come with the x-series gauge uh, tucked in here so I just opened that up and took out the two wires that we need which are going to be this brown one here is ground, and then this white one here is going to be your 5 volt reference wire. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get to the hole in the firewall we made a while back, and I'm going to feed a couple wires through from uh, inside here out to the engine bay. And then once we get that done, I'll get back with you guys and show you which wire here is going to go to which wire at the uh, air, con uh, air conditioning sensor so we went ahead and ran our two wires from the dash out the firewall into the engine bay here kind of ran it along how we wanted it to be um, we're going to be using this white wire for the five volt and then we're going to use the black wire as the ground and what i'm planning to do here is at the ac pressure switch this black and green wire is our five volt 
and then this tan wire is the sensor ground that we're gonna be using so what my plan is is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this wire just like so and then we can go ahead strip this back a little bit and then put these two ends together and then put them into a connector so you'll have two wires coming into this side of the connector and then on this other end i'm going to use this plug right here so we'll have both of these wires are going to still be connected to each other but also going to this plug and then the same thing with this wire i'll do the same exact thing and then on this end of the plug on the other end of the plug here we'll have the two wires that we ran from under the dash we'll have those hooked up to this as well so then my theory is when we're going to be data logging uh, we'll just unplug the uh, pressure switch and plug our plug in and we should be able to data log no problem we won't be able to use ac but we will be able to data log so that's fine and then uh, when you're done data logging or you don't need it anymore you can unplug our plug that we add and then plug in the pressure switch again and because we have these two wires going into the same side of the connector it should work just as if it would uh, before we cut the wire so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this all spliced in we're gonna use some nice heat shrink connectors and then I'll put a piece of heat shrink over it as well to try to keep it looking half decent um, obviously you could go in here and solder all this but I'm not going to go that far with it. I'm just going to use some nice heat shrink connectors. So let's get this all hooked up and I will show you guys what it looks like. And then we'll go back under the dash and get that end of it finished up. All right, guys. So I didn't bother showing you like a uh, time lapse or anything like that. Didn't want to bore you guys. It's literally just heat shrinking some wires. So we got done what we needed to here. As you can see, we've still got our AC pressure switch right here. We tied into them you've got the two wires going into this end of the connector and then out into the black wire of the plug and then you've got the same thing on this one here you got the two wires going into one end one out the other end to our plug so now if you're using ac and you're not data logging or anything like that this piece will be plugged right into the ac pressure switch this one will just be unplugged, tucked down in there. AC will function as normal and everything. And then let's say you want to stop and uh, data log or you're at the track and you're going to be data logging. All you got to do is come out here, unplug this AC pressure switch, let that one hang. And then you go ahead and take the plug that we added, this one here, and you just go ahead and plug it into the wires we ran out from the firewall and from under the dash. See if I can do it one-handed here. Just like that, and boom. Now you've got data logging. Like I said, you won't be able to use AC when you're data logging, but that's not a big deal. Uh, most likely be doing like pulls and stuff when you're data logging, so you're not really gonna need the AC anyways. So it's as simple as that. You just unplug that one, plug this one in, or vice versa. Unplug this one, plug that one in, and we should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and tidy up all this wires. Then we will go back under the dash and get this connected to the uh, wires for our AEM wideband and that's pretty much all there is to it then we'll just have to set it up on the laptop with HP tuners and that'll be about it guys okay, so I figured I'd show you just real quick we did go ahead and get the two wires that we ran through the firewall and out there to the plug we added in at the AC pressure switch uh, we did go ahead and get those spliced in in here to the wires that I showed you before coming from the, uh, the AFR gauge so now I'm going to go ahead and get all this wiring tucked back up and zip tied neatly under the dash, under the kick panel here. And then uh, we'll go ahead and pull out the laptop and start messing with HP tuners.
All right, guys, so we've got the logger going. Um, touch the throttle, everything seems good. I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up and let it warm up a minute. Alright guys, so you can see it's really that simple to run the AEM wideband through HP tuners without needing the Pro or any extra features or anything like that. It was really easy to wire up. As you can see here, um, I think I showed you before, but when I'm ready to stop data logging and go back to using my AC, it's as simple as unplugging this uh, plug right here that we added and plugging our AC back into the pressure sensor right here and we will be good to go for the AC. We won't be data logging anymore, we won't need it and then if we ever do want to data log it again, we can just go ahead and unplug the AC, plug our plug back in and it'll start logging it again. Um, I didn't get a chance to screen capture how we set it up in HP tuners yet. I will try to do it again for you guys so that I can put it up after this. Uh, if I can't, however, I will give you a good detailed write-up with all the equations and the math that you need to make it work in the actual computer itself. If you have any questions, feel free. I will also link in the description below uh, how you guys can find a forum or a post on exactly how to do it as well. So as always, guys, I appreciate you for watching and checking out the channel. If you're not already, please think about subscribing and ringing the bell. If any of this stuff helped you guys out, please hit that like button and we will catch you on the next one.